got one that can see. I got to share this with you guys. Uh, this is the China Observer. We all know the internet's blacked out. We don't hear anything going on in certain countries, especially China. But uh, take this with a grain of salt. Uh, it looks real to me. You know, I know people will be like, oh, this is mainstream propaganda, blah, blah, blah. But just check out. I'm going to let you guys see about four minutes of this, and then I'll post the original link in the description box. But if this is true, wow, check it out. It's been over three months since the outbreak of chikungunya fever in Foshan, Guangdong. Although the local authorities in Foshan declared the epidemic chikungunya fever from the Bill Gates mosquitoes. Demic under control, the chikungunya fever continued to spread since late September. During the October 1st National Day holiday, local governments launched large-scale mosquito eradication campaigns, with many public institutions and hospitals canceling holidays and sending workers to spray neighborhoods with large amounts of mosquito repellent. However, these mosquito control measures have led to chaotic situations, and the authorities' excessive precautions have sparked public resentment. Every morning, they spray insecticides into my room. Did they inform me? Did they notify me? They didn't notify me and sprayed insecticides directly into my room. Do you understand? How can I stay calm? How am I supposed to sleep? You spray all day and you're healthier than I am now. Breathing this air is unhealthy. You jump into my house, spray insecticides, take photos and don't even tell me? Many local residents in Jiangmen have exposed the near-crazy behavior of, of authorities. In one community, officials even demanded that bicycle shed owners hand over their keys, or they would forcibly open the locks. One resident woke up to find their houseplants were gone. Even more troubling, a community in Kaiping, Jiangmen, issued an ultimate. Check this one out. What would you guys do if they, you know, ordered people to do this right here? Dogs must be killed with, or they would forcibly open the locks. One resident woke up to find their houseplants were gone. Even more troubling, a community in Kaiping, Jiangmen, issued an ultimatum. Dogs must be killed within three days to prevent the spread of mosquitoes and diseases, or there would be consequences. In Jiangmen, Ordering the residents to kill their dog. Unbelievable. A mosquito control worker entered a residence and used violent methods to force an elderly woman to participate in the work. Video footage shows the worker pushing the frail woman against a wall, hitting her there, and shouting angrily while holding her hands tightly. During the National Day holiday, many organizations in Guangdong received orders from the Chikungunya Prevention Command Center to cancel vacations. They were required to send no less than 50% of their staff every day and clean the environment to eliminate mosquitoes. Residents in Xinhui District, Jiangmen, have reported to the media that the situation with the epidemic seems out of control. They mention that the government is spraying everywhere and the repellent has an unpleasant smell. What's even more terrifying is that if you're caught with mosquito bites, you may be taken away for quarantine and locked in a small room. The video shows thick clouds of poison lingering everywhere. Pedestrians and cyclists, unable to bear the strong pungent smell. I mean, this footage does look real to me and uh, it wouldn't surprise me if it is. Cover their mouths and noses. Reports from Chinese media indicate that although the mass spraying in cities kills some mosquitoes, it also kills many of the natural predators of mosquitoes, such as dragonflies and spiders. Because of the Pearl River system, the primary source of mosquitoes has not been effectively addressed. As a result, mosquitoes hatching from the river system itself have had little control, and residents are feeling the mosquito problem is actually getting worse. According to Guangdong Province's CDC, on October 18, 2025, Guangdong reported over 2,000 new cases of chikungunya fever, with nearly 800 cases in Jiangmen. It remains one of the cities with the highest concentration of cases. On September 20th, Jiangmen City initiated a Level 3 public health emergency response. The city's CCP Standing Committee held a meeting, declaring mosquito eradication as the most important political task. They issued the slogan, spare no effort to eliminate mosquitoes, and demanded that the epidemic would effectively be controlled before the National Day holiday on October 1st. The authorities claimed they would eradicate mosquitoes' eggs within three or four days. The large-scale mosquito control measures, including closing multiple parks and markets, 
deploying drones to spray insecticides, and enforcing mandatory isolation for patients. A notice from the city government required all chikungunya patients to be hospitalized for isolation. Any individuals or organizations refusing or delaying this measure would face penalties. Additionally, all suspected cases were required to undergo mandatory testing, including nucleic acid sampling. Talk about medical tyranny. Man, uh, COVID was nothing compared to this. Some local residents have criticized the government's measures as an excuse to release toxic gas. They said, the whole city is being sprayed, even entering people's homes to spray, including spraying on fruits and vegetables. This poses a direct threat on people's health. Some people have already been hospitalized due to inhaling the toxic fumes. The mosquitoes haven't been eradicated, but the people might die from the poison. This is mass biological slaughter. It's not genocide, it's biological extinction. The mosquitoes haven't been eradicated, but the people might die from the poison. This is mass biological slaughter. It's not genocide, it's biological extinction. Get ready! Get ready! 